Hi friends, welcome to OFASTDC YouTube channel. This is part 24 in PySpark playlist. In this video, we are going to discuss about union and union all transformations which you can apply on top of data frame in PySpark. So let me explain you this. So you know that in SQL we have union and union all functions, right? There union will get you union of two tables. So let's assume you have two tables with same schema like ID, name and then maybe salary. And another table also same ID, name and salary. And if you want to union or merge these rows from these two tables, then you can use union or union all operator in the SQL. If you use union all, it will get you all the rows. If you use union, it will get you all the rows but it will remove the duplicates it won't get the duplicates so this we know from sql right so here it is little different in pyspark same thing these two our functions will help you to merge the rows from two different data frames up to here it is fine but when it comes to removing the duplicate rows part it won't do in pyspark if you use union or union all, whatever the function, both the functions will does the same thing. They will return all the rows from both the data frames. They don't delete the duplicate rows or they don't remove the duplicate rows. If you want to remove the duplicate rows, as we discussed in our previous videos, there is something called distinct function which you can apply as a one workaround. I will also try to create one play, uh, video in the real time scenarios where I will explain how to remove duplicate rows from data frame using various functions. So in this video, I will explain with the distinct function. If you have seen my previous videos in the PySpark playlist, you already know that how to do that. So now without further ado, let's go to browser. Here I have already opened my Databricks workspace. And if I go to compute, you can see I have created one cluster also already. So let's go to workspace users mahir and here let's try to create a new data uh, new notebook so create new notebook and uh, let me name this notebook as union notebook python is a default language my cluster let me hit create button to create this notebook let me close this tooltip here and here let's try to write our code to create one data frame very quickly so i am creating a data variable so let's assume it has a id name and then maybe gender columns oh, sorry so id is one name is mahir and maybe gender is male so this is first row and let me copy two rows for this data frame okay so id two then name is buffa and again male so let's assume this is data one variable so let's try to create two data frames actually so for this data one variable, let's create a schema. So it is going to like ID column, name column and gender column. So this is fine. So let's create similar variables to create the second data frame also. So data to schema to and this time let's try to have like ID three and uh, name RC female ID four name Aisha and gender is female so same ID name and gender columns so to create a data frame you know that if you have seen my previous videos you can use this spark keyword that will give object of spark session and on top of it I can use a create data frame function to which I can pass my variables which is data and schema variables to create a data frame so this is let's try to create a data frame called df1 with this and let's try to create a data frame called df2 with another set of variables here so data2 schema2 so now let's try to display both the data frames here using the show functions so df1.show df2.show and let me hit shift enter to execute this code here and let's see whether we are able to print our data frames correctly or not so spark job code execution is right currently running it will take couple of seconds to complete now if you see the result we created two data frames this is first data frame 
which has two rows and another data frame which has another two rows both the data frames has a similar schema so now let's assume i want to create a data frame by merging rows from these two data frames into single data frame so how to do that to do that i can use uh, union or union all function let me practically show you that how it is so here what i am doing is i want to create a new data frame so let me name it like a maybe new df okay and then here what i am doing i am taking data frame one and then on top of that i am using this union function to the union function i am passing another data frame so since these two data frames has a similar schema it will try to match the rows from both the data frames and create a new data frame and that data frame i am storing here so now let's try to use new data frame dot show function now let me hit shift enter to execute this code here command is running and now if you see the result here this is the first data frame and this is the second data frame and now if you see in the third in the new data frame i got all the four rows how that magic is happening because of the union function so let's assume for some reason i have a duplicate row in one of the data frame so let me take this row from data frame 1 and have it in data frame 2 now let's try to execute this code and see whether this new data frame will contain the duplicate rows or not now if you closely observe i have data frame 1 which has two rows and i have data frame 2 two which has three rows in which this first row is similar to the row in the data frame 1 so that means when you merge these two data frames you get a duplicate rows see here i got a duplicate row also this union function will not remove the duplicates but in sql it will remove even union all will not remove it so union and union all will work same actually so let me use union all function here and let me hit shift enter to execute this command and once the command executed successfully you can see the same result duplicate rows are not removed at all okay so then how to remove the duplicate rows in PySpark? to do that what you do as i explained in my previous videos there is something called a distinct function you can use this distinct function to remove the duplicates so let me use the distinct functions to remove the duplicates and then use use the show method to display the data now if you closely observe the new data frame doesn't have the duplicate rows because this distinct function helped to remove that duplicates okay so if you want to see the documentation of this uh, union and union all function and all you can simply do this so on top of data frame i applied this union function right so use a help function there to see the documentation of it like this so when you do that this will give the documentation of this union function and it clearly says it is equivalent to union all in sql it will help you to merge the rows okay so same thing if i use the documentation of union all even that documentation is almost similar it says it is equivalent to union all okay so like this this union and union all functions will be very useful when you want to merge the rows into single data frame when you have a similar schema in both the data frames i hope you got a clear idea about it thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever i add videos thank you so much